After much anticipation, Bachman Industries is delivering their latest 120.3 scale offering. In this case, it's a long caboose based on those used by the Denver and Rio Grande Western and Rio Grande Southern narrow gauge railroads. The caboose is shipped in a heavy custom molded styrofoam and wrapped in plastic. Our unit arrived in perfect condition with no rub marks on the paint or any loose pieces. Make sure you take a look at the back of the foam packing. There are some additional parts for your caboose as well as several pages of instructions. Included is a registration card that you should complete and return to Bachman Trains. There are exploded diagrams of the caboose in case you break any of the parts you'll be able to identify and order them. There's also instructions about how to install a DCC board. How to replace the LEDs on the unit. How to take off the roof so you can get inside. There's a wiring diagram for the lights inside and out. as well as information on how to completely disassemble the unit if you'd like to do some additional customization and of course your warranty. The caboose is 19 and 7 16 inches in length measured coupler to coupler. It is 4 and a half inches wide measured at the end beams. It is 7 and 3 8 inches high from the railhead to the top of the cupola and 8 and 1 quarter inches high from the railhead to the top of the smokestack. Our unit weighed 4 pounds, 12 ounces. The cut lever actually functions and can be used to lift the knuckle latching pin on the coupler. The first thing that you will notice as you look at this model is the amount of detail. It really is magnificent both inside and out. Even though the graphics on this unit are very simple, they're prototypically correct and the lettering and graphics are very crisp. You can see that the cupola is a two-sided window version. The windows are mounted on tracks and both windows will slide open and close. Check the marker lights on the caboose that you receive. The first shipment had the marker lights installed with the green lens facing the rear. Don't panic, it's a simple fix. All you need to do is just remove the marker light on the right, then remove the marker light on the left, take the one on the left and place it so the green light is facing forward, and then take the opposite marker light and place it in the same way. A simple fix for a simple problem. For a simple model of a caboose, it's amazing how detailed this unit actually is. The detailing does not stop at the top and sides of the caboose, but underneath the caboose it is detailed as well. The floorboard and framing include wood grain as well. If you take a look, you can notice the outside hung brake beams and shoes. Also, the trucks have leaf springs for a smoother crew ride. The leaf springs are functional. Now, the journal box lids do not open, but on previous models, we've ended up gluing them to keep them from coming off when hitting vegetation or debris. You can run the unit from track power or battery power. You can also control with the switches on the bottom whether to have just the marker lights, table lights, or both lights lit. Our unit did not come with the additional safety ladder extension, so getting the roof off was as simple as pushing it back and pulling it up. The roof has several lugs on each side that are used to hold the roof in place. The roof has two bunk beds in closed position attached to the ceiling. These are the two green boxes that appear on the screen. There is even detail in the cupola with air pressure gauge and air valves. The detail inside this caboose makes it a lot of fun. You'll be taking the top off a lot to show your friends. It makes you wonder what it would have been like to ride inside one of these cabooses.
The detail inside this caboose is the best I have seen in a long time inside a large scale product. Even though I knew that inside things were plastic, when I first saw the cushions, I really thought that maybe it was fabric with real buttons. There's a lot of different details in here, from the wood grain on the side to the wash water container. It almost looks like there should be some pancakes uh, cooking on the stove. I like the fact that the doors are not spring-loaded and they open and close, and look, it actually has a working doorknob. Under the cushions on one side, you will find the DCC socket. This socket is set up for a Bachmann HO 8-pin decoder or a decoder of your choice. It's easy to put the covers back on. Behind the DCC, you'll find nothing. But we wanted to look just in case. On the other side of the caboose, you'll find a place to put two AA batteries so that you can run the unit on batteries when not on track power and have the lights lit. If you are going to use batteries, remember to flip the switch on the bottom to the battery position. The lighting on this unit includes the marker lights in the back as well as two oil lanterns inside. They give a great natural glow when lit. Putting the roof back on is easy. Just put the roof in place, align the ladders and slide it back in. If your model has the safety extensions for the ladders, follow the directions that come with the unit on taking the roof off and on. Our Bachmann K27 has been waiting so long for its little friend to complete the train, so we just had to get outside and take a run.